Hi everybody, Larry Vella here from Bell Lost Souls, and today we're going to be going over Dreadball, which is the uh, new sports board game from uh, set in the in the uh, world of Warpath set, uh, from Mantic Games. So uh, we'll kind of go over the basics right now. So here we go. We have our our box. It's a decent sized thing. Dreadball. It has a really good production values on it. The art is really good. We're going to flip this guy over. Look at the back of it. Uh, as you can see here, let's kind of go over the contents really, really quickly. 84-page uh, color rule book. You get the game board in there, as you can see right here. You get 21 miniatures. That's uh, two 10-man teams. Uh, there's human team and the uh, orc marauder team. Ten each of those, and then you get the referee. Seen right there. Here's kind of examples of them painted. And then we get uh, the set's cards, counters, two balls, the roster pad, and dice. So let's open the box and take a look at this guy. All right, we're back. Let's take a look. We've opened this guy up. Uh, first thing you're going to get is you have your big, fancy 80-page um, rule book right here. As you can see, it's uh, it's full color, soft bound, has all the rules for everything that you need to play the game. We're going to go into this in a little more detail in a little bit, but for now, let me just put that aside, and we will take a look at the other contents. You have your little stickers in here and catalogs. Uh, Dreadball originally ships... Uh, uh, main box set, but all the other teams, there are several other teams that are available right out of the gate as well. So there's the two teams that come in it, and then there's one, two, three, four other teams that are already, that you can go out and buy. I think a team is $24, $20, dollars is normal price for a box set of teams. There's your Mantic points that come in all Mantic projects. The, the game board, so... Standard board, kind of feels like uh, any, any board game that you would see. Uh, and there you go. You have uh, score counters, penalty counters, starting positions, and the entire and the entire board. Uh, it's uh, it's printed nicely. feels It feels solid. It's a good sized board. Hex based. And then the actual contents of the box. Let's pull this guy out right here. First things first. You have your bag of miniatures. So kind of standard Mantic. If any of you guys are used to, uh, to kind of the way things come from Mantic Products, move this over here, you get uh, all the miniatures, they're already pre-bagged, there are all the different pieces of them in there, there's 21 guys, you have, uh, uh, there's the referee, all the orcs, humans, and there's a small sub-bag in there with all kind of the little small fiddly bits, heads, and that kind of stuff. So, there's your 21 miniatures, you get, pull these guys out, you have your deck of action cards, there's some of them still in there, these guys right here, you get all of them kind of standard uh, board game fare, looking pretty good. You have your dice right here, all them that you need to go. And then uh, these are bases for the guys, so you have the hex bases on there. These are actually kind of neat, they're clear plastic and obviously hex base and they have little circles in the middle so the miniatures will fit right into them. And then you get your various tokens that you need for um, keeping track of what's going on and then you have your... Uh, or little uh, game cards here that you use to track what's going on within each particular game and uh, and just uh, and, you get, and you get the big old pad of it. So that is the contents of the box set and let's go a little bit more in depth into the rule book coming soon. And we're back. Let's take a look at the rule book. So, which is kind of the uh, the big, uh, you know, aside from the miniatures and the board, the big thing here. So, uh, soft cover, uh, magazine style format, full color, and 80 pages. Let's take a look at it. And first thing first, we're going to open up the table of contents so you guys can see what's going on here. So, we have all the components of the game. You got uh, rules of the player. You have the main. You have the actual rules of the game. So, from 26 over to uh, about 50, so you got about 20, 30 pages of rules right here on how to actually do it. You have uh, how fouls work, how you use the action cards. Uh, cool thing here, you have about 10 pages here. As you would expect, it's uh, you know it is kind of you know a sporting game, so you get 
10 pages of how to actually set up and run leagues, which is kind of cool. So, you know, you can definitely run leagues with all your friends and, you know, keep track of standings and how the teams are doing and everything and, and run whole seasons. You get uh, sections in here on special abilities. Uh, uh, you get experience uh, as teams advance. And then there's a little section in the back on, uh, on some default uh, uh, MVPs that come with it. I'm sure there will be more and more uh, of these coming later. In fact, there are definitely ones that they have announced miniatures of that are not on this list. So there are certainly more coming later. Let's take you through this. Really, really basic. Kind of, you know, you get your standard stuff, how to play your first game, what comes in the rule book, how, you know, kind of what things are. Uh, kind of take you really quickly. I get a little bit of background there for all you fluff fanatics. And then you have the actual rules of the game. So, you know, we get, you know, it's it's, as you can tell, it's well illustrated. You get lots of examples, how to roll the dice, how the game works, what are the rules, how you win. Uh, uh, in particular, there's a pretty interesting thing that I want to tell you about here, which is uh, the role of the referee, which I think you guys may think this is uh, is kind of cool. So there's 21 miniatures in the uh, in the in the box. You both get your your two teams, and then you get the ref. And the ref is neat because the ref kind of moves around the board, and there's a whole list of things you can do that are that are uh, fouls, and there's a whole bunch of them, and you can try them if you want to, and then there's there's this whole kind of set of rules of, of you know, whenever your team decides to do something that, you know, is potentially a foul, there's this whole little set of, of, uh, of rules that you do to determine what the, whether you get caught, and if you get caught, how bad it is. So, you know, you can, you can definitely, you know, be that kind of we follow the rules kind of team, or you can kind of play it dirty. If you want to, which you know seems like a lot of fun, and as long as that ref isn't uh, you know isn't too nearby, maybe you can get away with uh, with some shenanigans out there. Uh, you get all the cards, how they work, uh, and then as a, as I was saying, you get a good ten point section here on how to set up a league, how it all works, you know, organizing rounds, keeping track of stuff. And the neat thing is that not only are you just keeping track of of uh, of the league, but uh, there's this whole ability section, so your your teams and players do get better. So as you as you as you win games and as you kind of you know move through through the seasons, you get you know there's there's a whole rule set here for your guys get better and your team and your you know individual guys get special abilities. Uh, how teams work, how you build a team, how you start it, you get sample teams in here. Um, like I said, all these other teams, they're available. You can go out and buy those box sets. It looks like $25, $24.99 is what a team costs for the 10 guys uh, that are in it. And then there's a little section on the back of MVPs. So each of the teams also, you can additionally go out and get MVPs, and they have, as you would expect, you know, their own stat lines and their own special abilities. So it seems, you know, it looks like it's a pretty good game. It's pretty well put together. It's pretty thorough. Um... Uh, it's a it's a short game. It says uh, you know thirty minutes to an hour. It's pretty much what you can expect start to finish, which is is pretty good. So you, you can get in you know several matches in an evening of game playing, and uh, and what we've heard is that you know this was a very very successful Kickstarter for Mantic. They're really really excited. They definitely kind of you know have this feeling that you know Dreadball really kind of you know has you know people seem to have really really kind of hooked into this this concept of this of you know the a sci-fi sporting game um they're getting you know lots of interest in it you know they're really really excited and uh i would fully expect to see um uh mantic backed um you know l league play and kind of you know you know tournaments and all those kinds of things so they are definitely jumping into dreadball with both feet uh and and there you have it uh dreadball it has a uh the this basic box set here uh, has a list price of uh, seventy nine seventy nine dollars. Uh, that's full price, and as you'd expect, it is available from either your local FLGS or from an e-tailer of your choice at a variety of discounted price levels. So, uh, and this is available. It is on shelves right now. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we will talk to you guys later.